Welcome to a super quick overview of a course with a seriously long title, Unforgettable Films of Vivid Imagery and Social Commentary in Animation and Anime Films that are definitely not Disney. And the fact that they're not Disney is the key. These are magnificently illustrated, beautifully rendered films that have won awards, that have won, won brave reviews all over the world because they address serious storytelling for adults. They look at social content and create messages that are terrific for our classes to discuss, which is what we do after every class. We'll be looking at films like The Soldier's Tale, which is brilliantly drawn by the famous New Yorker R.O. Blackman. I'm sure you'll recognize his work. He's mostly known for doing New Yorker covers, but he also has done cartoons. It's a dazzling animation adaption of a Russian classic folk tale about a soldier who is tricked by the devil into giving up his precious violin, and it has the fabulous music of Stravinsky and the voice of Marx Van Sydow as the main character. We'll explore Howl's Moving Castle, which is done by the master of anime, Hayao Mirazaki, and it displays a hand-drawn, magically animated world of shimmering color, very soft pastels, while it still addresses such complex issues as the morality of war and a topic that's very seldom talked about, ageism. We'll look at a landmark psychedelic film. It's French, Czechoslovakian, and it's called The Fantastic Planet. It was made in 1974, and it showca showcases the forever fight for freedom in astonishingly impactful graphics. If you took the first animation class that I had a couple years ago, we looked at a film that had very bold graphics as well. It was called Persepolis, and it was about Iran from 1978 to 1987. And it looked at how that country changed and what the revolution did to the country as a whole. When we were looking at that two years ago, Egypt was just starting to have a revolution. And so it made sense two years later to take a look at how this film relates to where Egypt is now. And we have two additional anime films from Japan, but they couldn't be different from each other. One is Millennium Actress, which blends action and sentimentality is it looks at a retired actress memory and how truthful that may be because she also blends in the history of Japan with what may or may not have happened to her in the past. Ghost in a Shell is a fabulous anime that was a very highly influential film. It's set in the future and it looks at how people evolve right now in our history, we are getting more and more body replacements, knees, hips. It looks at what happens when those replacements go even to the brain and what really is humanity. For the short films, we're gonna look at the Russians who are masterful in their artwork. One of their fabulous creations is painting on glass, which creates a soft, wavering look. And we're gonna meet a little hedgehog as one of the characters done by painting on glass, but we're also going to look contemporary Russians who use their tart humor to create much funnier and more lively cartoons. We'll have something from the Canadians and the Brits and the Australians and even the Americans because we can't forget the famous British couple called Wallace and Gromit, a big favorite that has been requested by the class. So join us and maybe you'll be one of the people who have said to me many times before, I never knew anything so beautiful existed.